Hello, yes, municipal nationalism or street theatre. This is really a continuation from yesterday's video. Which one shall we pursue? Winning council seats and being a voice for the forgotten and beleaguered white working class? Or street theatre where you pursue your local councillor or MP up and down the high street with a mobile phone insulting and abusing them. Which one do you think would be beneficial to our cause? Well, exactly. It doesn't take Einstein to fathom out, which is obviously the most practical and the one that's going to give us more, the most dividends and the right type of publicity. It's winning council seats. I mean, I'm lost with you, Nick Griffin. If winning council seats is a waste of time, how is the street theatre not a waste of time where M an MP is being pursued by Jamie Goddard with a mobile phone and being abused? If winning council seats is not productive and a waste of time, then how is the street theatre productive? Or are you saying it's not productive? What are you actually saying? I, 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 again, I don't understand where you're coming from, right? Council seats open doors for us, right? There's many benefits that come with being a council. Like I've said, you're the voice for thousands of our people, the forgotten and beleaguered white working class, like I am now in Kensington and Fairfield here in Liverpool. I'm just getting me uh, latest uh, leaflet designed and ready. It'll be printed soon and off I go. Hopefully I'll get one out every month right up until the May, May elections, uh, the council elections in May. I'm going to keep the pressure on them. And there's people in the community of Kensington and Fairfield that are listening to me now. And it's hard work and perseverance. That's the uh, the secret to it, right? Just a bit of legwork, talking to people, and a good leaflet, a good, good leaflet, right? And you're halfway there, right? So are we made to believe them we must pursue the street theatre with a mobile phone and a bit of abuse to our local councillor or uh, local MP? I mean, it's that stupid, Nick. It literally, literally is. And you hobnobbing with hope not hate spies, whether or not it's Jack Sen, and whoever he hobnobs with, Tim Scott, Jamie Goddard, you want to be ashamed of yourself because it's not going to be too long before you're going to regret what you've been doing. You're not going to be forgiven or forgotten, trust me. Right? Maybe you don't care. I don't know. But anyway, so what is it? Municipal nationalism or street theatre? Should we all get our mobile phones out and find our local councillor, local MP, what surgeries they go to and pursue them up and down the high street, filming them and giving them abuse. Is that the new way forward? Well, it's not. You see, British nationalism has been destroyed. And what's been put in its place by Hope Not Hate and its agents is a pantomime and circus, a comedy sketch. What we've been witnessing of late, Jamie Goddard uh, chasing and Subri up and down Westminster. That's what's replaced it. And you're going along with it, Nick Griffin. Right, you, you're shameful, right? As I said, you won't be um, forgiven or forgotten. You won't be, trust me. You'll go down as a bad person if you carry on like this. Because you're doing it for your own ends, right? You, I don't think you care what Jackson is or Jamie Goddard. I just think all you care about yourself. Well, you know, we can't abandon the people of Burnley, Oldham, Blackburn, Bradford, wherever. Stoke, Barking and Dagnum, we can't abandon them. You've got no right to abandon them. None of us have. We've got to go back in there and pick up the flag, right, and carry on via and through municipal nationalism. That's the beginning, right? You see, had you kept your cool in Barking and Dagenham and had you not made silly mistakes like reporting that clown collar to the police, what what you done that for? I'll never know during an election. It's beyond me. And you'd have got rid of Bob Bailey, that little setup where he, the Asian spits in his face. And you'd have kept com campaigning in that war. And I'm telling you, you'd have won it. You imagine yourself being elected to Parliament. Christ, that wouldn't make world news. It'd reverberate around the universe, right? And that's the way forward. Even if you want a council seat, imagine the publicity. Look at Derek Beacon when he won the first BMP council seat in the Isle of Dogs 1993. That made world news. Sadly, it wasn't capitalised on. Now, we know how things work. We know what, do, what does and doesn't work. And how to do things a lot, lot better. Right? So we can when you know we can. Right? So you, you, you've got to 
put the cause first and not yourself because that's what's happening like i am right i'm doing this all by myself because i know i've got to because there's no one else going to do it so anyway i'm a busy man i've got to go so which one is it municipal nationalism or street of theater well exactly okay thank you